uh, Kiki Nickerson from the Hoosier.com. And I, Josh Hoover, just I, I've talked about him a lot. He's he, he just intrigues me in watching him play, how well he plays, how far along he is. Um, and I know everyone looks better in high school because if you can stand out more, but I just there's something about him that I think he is a one of those those quarterbacks that just yeah. has it that has it. Yeah, uh, but we'll see. But uh, you all you've been digging doing some digging in the transfer portal because, like I said, I don't Indiana does not have a starter right now. Yeah, uh, Jack Tuttle is not. I don't know that Jack Tuttle is the answer. Uh, now, maybe under a different coach, a different quarterback's coach, that changes. Who knows? But what have you been digging up? Yeah, just to touch on kind of um, Josh Hoover, he honestly reminds me of Josh Allen a lot. I mean, the number 17, obviously, but just how he moves around, how he can sling it, go from different arm slots. You know, he was a pitcher at Rockball Heath, and I think he touched up to 90 miles an hour. So he offers that kind of – Well, he's just a, a, just a – he's one of those athletes because we talked – he's been on a couple times, and the first time he was on, we found out that his first time playing golf, he shot an 82. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Well, that's, that's, that's not normal. Yeah, no, not at all. Um, now, he had been practicing chipping and putting at home because it was during COVID, but that's yeah. it. And he goes out and, and and shoots an 82. That's just not normal. No, definitely not. Most people that are listening that play golf and have been playing golf for years can't shoot an 82 right now. <laughs> no. I can't shoot an 82 right now. I can't break 100, and I've been playing for the last and three years. To do it on your first attempt – that's a different level athlete. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, who are some of the names you dug up? So some of the names that I found that sent, there are three good fits that I found. Um, Carter Bradley at Toledo. He spent, I think, the last three years, maybe four years at Toledo. He held an offer coming out of Indiana. Um, he's a class of 2018 guys, so he could offer maybe a year or two of eligibility. Um, he's got... He's a pro guy, great pocket presence, has a really strong arm, and he just looks confident throwing the ball. Another one is Jaron Williams out of Miami. He transferred to Garden City Community College, so into Juca route after Miami, and then he's at UCF, USF now and leaving. So he's got that USF connection with Coach Allen, which there has been a lot of staff turnover there, so I don't know how many connections there are, but I still think that Coach Allen will have some pull there with the Bulls. And then the third one is going to be uh, Jack Plummer at Purdue um, with the Indiana what? ties, the Jeff Brom ties. I think he could be a great fit. And he has is he a in lot. the portal. Yes. Yeah. He has a lot of snaps under his belt and he can come in and immediately make an impact as a leader and as a seasoned veteran. And which I think that's what Indiana needs is a one year buffer and then have a. Oh, ex exactly. Yeah, and then have a QB battle between McCauley and Hoover, and then whoever loses that battle is probably going to Dexter Williams is going to have something to say about that. Yeah, maybe. But, I mean, it looks like McCauley and Hoover are going to be your one one or two guys for the next few years. So, But McCauley's I not agree. ready, and they learned the hard way with uh, McCauley to not throw your true freshman quarterback in the fire. What about and Grant Gremmel? If you want to have a walk-on quarterback as your guy – but I don't I, care what I don't care where they come from. Is I, I just want the best, and I'm not saying he is, but I mean, who knows? Had he not been ignored, maybe he would have been better because yeah. he didn't get the reps that Penix got. He didn't get the reps that Tuttle got. He didn't get the reps that that Donovan got. So you're looking at a, a guy who's not been thought of really. And you're like, well, wait a minute, he's not exactly terrible. Had, had he maybe if he had been developed, who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I just think I think bringing in a transfer who's seasoned and has some yes, snaps of higher scaling is going to be better. Um, and then the interesting thing is, you look at more dark horses. You, you've got Dylan Gabriel from UCF out there. If Coach John wants to make a call, and then you know more of a long shot, Adrian Martinez, but. 
you know, there are a lot of options out there and it's kind of an exciting period because just pick up the phone and you can call them and just see what happens. So I did a lot of research and, you know, this is only a week after the season ends and we've got, I think, seven Big Ten quarterbacks in the portal. So it's going to be a whole offseason process and it's going to be fun to watch. Jack Plummer, that would be just... Funny. It's interesting. It's a name. So Well, it's not but, like Indiana hasn't had players go there. They just lost... Um, the running back earlier this season. Yeah, and it's rare to find someone with so many snaps like him because he's had two, two and a half almost full seasons of snaps. So, wasn't he playing? He started the first four first four games this year, and then um, O'Connell took over in the Iowa game. I think was his first kind of splash. Well, we'll certainly see, but yeah, they're going to have to do something. Um, I agree with what you say that I, I think that they need a band aid uh, to to patch them over. They don't have a starter, but again, if Walt Bell is the guy, he's been a quarterbacks coach at his previous stops, which uh, Nick Sheridan was the quarterbacks coach, and I, I think that definitely saw a downtick in the production of the quarterbacks and. Yes. No, the development just wasn't there. It was really shocking how bad. But anyway, um, developing a quarterback is is of just such an uber uh, importance. Uh, that's the first thing they have to do. They have to develop as a, as as a player before they can go out and perform. Um, and I just don't know that that was getting done, but. Um, it's going to be interesting to see, but th things are going to have to happen quickly. Uh, the time Indiana, you know, may, are, is making their moves later than everyone else. Uh, a lot of movement that's been going on for weeks now. So, um, you know, the Walt Bell name and not exactly jumping off. A lot, a lot of people wanted, um, was it Kitley from Kitley? And he's going he to Texas, going? Tech, Texas Tech as of last night, as there Which, is. So which I'm like, oh, man, you're really, there's no way you couldn't have landed him if you I don't wanted know. him. If, te if Texas Tech is calling, that's his alma mater. And it oh, looks like is it is? Yeah, okay. and it looks like they're favorites to land Quinn Ewers from Ohio State who's transferring. So there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff going on there. And if you can get Kitley and then get Ewers, you could, prop you could possibly be a contender, especially with the Big 12 kind of – Losing powers in Oklahoma and Texas. I think I just saw Boston College's quarterbacks in the portal. Uh, yeah, it's 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 nuts. Uh, there's so much to so much information. Uh, Sean yeah. says his concern is Walt Bell is a is Walt Bell a sexy enough name to get attention from skilled athletes in the in the transfer portal? We should have plenty of playing time available, but our offense destroyed. NFL dreams last year. Yes, there's no lie to that. Um, yeah. And he's talking specifically of 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 Ty Freifogel, yeah, um, and and potentially Michael Penix. But I don't think um, has the AP poll came out. By the way, I don't want to have to say that. I just saw someone's tweet, but basketball. But yeah, it's uh, it, it's going to be an interesting week because I think it has to happen. This mm -hmm. week, you got to get it done right now. It's of, of of uber importance because these people are in demand. Indiana's not the only school that needs a quarterback. Um, and the hardest thing for Indiana is if you have a new OC, which they do, and what's he known for? What's what's Walt Bell? Walt Bell? What, you know what what type of offense? Is he going to run? What's it been like? What success has he had? Um, I know he's had zero success as a head coach. That's not surprising. We talked yeah. about I talked about this earlier. Cam Cameron did not have success as a head coach, but was brutal as a OC. He'd kill you. Yeah. Um, so, but what kind of offense are, are we going to expect from Walt Bell? I, th I think I heard that he likes to run an up tempo offense, and I know. Uh, during his time in North Carolina that he kind of developed Eric Ebron and turned him into a really, really solid tight end who got drafted pretty high to 
Um, I think it was the Lions is who who he originally got drafted to. But I've heard that it's mainly up tempo. And just another development about Walt Bell is DJ Matthews put out a pretty cryptic tweet about 15 minutes ago of two frowny face emojis. And I'm pretty sure they would have overlapped at Florida State. So it looks like DJ Matthews isn't too happy about the hire. And that's one of your more important players on offense. So if he is somehow going to hit the transfer portal over this hire, that would be devastating.